the NFL season. I am your host, Kainani Stevens. Thank you for making Locked On your first listen every single weekday. Thursday Night Football featured a breakout offensive performance for Tennessee and perhaps the nail in the coffin for the Packers' playoff hopes. Locked On Titans recaps all the accolades, while Locked On Packers gives us a postmortem for Green Bay's 2022 season. The Tennessee Titans offense explodes in a way that we have not seen during the 2022 season. And the Titans knock off the Green Bay Packers 27 to 17 on Thursday night football. My name is Tyler Rowland, host of the Locked on Titans podcast. The Titans put up a season high in points. They were making plays. We saw big plays from Traylon Burks, who went over 100 yards for the first time in his career. Rookie tight end Chig Okonkwo. We saw Derrick Henry in the run game and throwing the ball in the red zone. We saw Austin Hooper and Robert Woods being the chain movers in the red zone options that they were meant to be. And tying it all together was a wonderful performance from Ryan Tannehill, who outshined Aaron Rodgers all night long. Todd Downing, Titans offensive coordinator, who has been beleaguered throughout the season by pretty much everyone in the fan base, including myself, had his best play calling exhibit since he became the offensive coordinator for the Titans. And of course, the defense fought all night long against the Packers offense and Jeffrey Simmons made plays when it mattered most on the final drive to close out the game. The most complete performance we have seen from the Tennessee Titans all year. They moved to 7-3 and three on the season and have 10 days until they get a rematch against the Cincinnati Bengals. For more analysis, check out the Locked On Titans YouTube channel right now. I'll be going live to break down everything that happened in this game. Locked On Titans on all platforms Monday through Friday. It's your team every day. It may not be mathematically over for the Green Bay Packers, but I've never been great at math. After a 27-17 to 17 listless and pathetic performance from the Green Bay Packers, their season is over. I'm Peter Bukowski, host of Locked on Packers, and in a game where you can't stop Ryan Tannehill from doing whatever he wants, in a game where you allow one of the worst offenses in the league to rack up over 400 yards of offense, score 27 points, their biggest output of the season, and in a game where late in the second half, in do or die situations, four possessions, two punts, two turnovers on downs, Aaron Rodgers, Matt LaFleur, Joe Barry, Brian Gutekinst, everyone is at fault for the way that this season has gone and the Packers now need to figure out what they can still get out of this season to salvage something moving forward. And they need to figure out who is most to blame so that they can fix those problems sooner rather than later if they have any chance of getting any more out of this end of the Aaron Rodgers era. Because that is what we are rapidly hurtling toward the end. Because for all intents and purposes, this is the end of the 2022 season. That is another year of Aaron Rodgers where you do not compete for a Super Bowl. The Atlanta Falcons defense will be tasked with slowing down Justin Fields if they want any chance of coming out victorious this week. Locked on Falcons has more on how that can be done. Slowing down Justin Fields' legs is the key to victory for the Falcons in Week 11. I'm Aaron Freeman, host of Locked on Falcons. This week, the Falcons face Bears quarterback Justin Fields, who's gashed teams all season long uh, to the tune of 749 yards rushing, ranking six in the NFL. And the Falcons haven't faced a running quarterback of Fields' ilk thus far this season and struggled to handle mobile quarterbacks a year ago. They did give up 81 yards rushing on four carries to Saints hybrid player Taysom Hill in week one. And they're going to have to do better than that if they stand a chance of slowing down Fields and this Bears offense who have embraced Fields running ability the last four weeks, averaging 31 points per game. And Fields has racked up nearly 500 yards rushing and five rushing to- touchdowns uh, in that four game span. The Falcons will count on the athleticism of linebackers like Troy Anderson and Michael Walker to slow down Fields this weekend. Will it be enough? We'll find out Sunday and we'll have you covered all week long until then here on Locked On Falcons, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. The Browns and Bills game is going to be played in Detroit thanks to a massive snowstorm heading towards New York, but Buffalo may not have the home field advantage exactly. The Browns are still going to need a lot more than just that if they want to get a win against the Bills. Locked on Browns explains. 
Hey there, Cleveland Browns fans. Jeff Lloyd, host of Locked On Browns. A lot of Browns fans anticipating the return of Deshaun Watson in two weeks. The question will be, what exactly will be left for Deshaun Watson and the Cleveland Browns to play for? That will be defined Sunday when the Browns make a trip to Buffalo or Detroit or somewhere else possibly remote due to a major, major storm hitting the Buffalo, New York area. The Browns are three and six, three games under 500 with eight to play. This is about as desperate as desperate gets. The Browns have gotten some solid play from Jacoby Brissett to this point. The defense has been very, very disappointing. The Buffalo Bills turn the ball over a lot. It's led to two straight consecutive losses for the Buffalo Bills. Can the Browns keep that momentum going and possibly keep their season alive? Jeff Lloyd, Locked On Browns, available wherever you get your podcasts, on YouTube, and of course, Roku. The Eagles are going to try to bounce back after suffering their first loss of the season last week, while Indianapolis is going to try to keep that momentum going under their new head coach. Locked on Colts and Locked on Eagles break down the matchup from both sides. The key to an Eagles win this Sunday against the Indianapolis Colts, it's going to be to stop the run. I'm Louis DiBiase, host of the Locked On Eagles podcast. Over the last two weeks, the Eagles defense has really struggled against running backs. You look at two weeks ago on Thursday Night Football against the Houston Texans, rookie running back Damian Pierce had over 130 yards on the ground against Philadelphia. And this past Monday night, in the Eagles' first loss of the season, rookie running back Brian Robinson really made them pay up the middle. They have to slow things down. It doesn't get easier, though, with the matchup. Jonathan Taylor is healthy for the Colts, and he's one of the best running backs in football. The Eagles brought in some help this week in this area, signing 34-year-old veteran nose tackle Linval Joseph, but he hasn't played since 2021. They also need Fletcher Cox to step up more, Javon Hargrave as well in this area, and they need their defensive coordinator, Jonathan Gannon, to adjust accordingly his scheme to the personnel he has without rookie defensive tackle Jordan Davis still in the lineup nursing an ankle injury. They got to stop the run. Easier said than done against Jonathan Taylor, but that's the key to a win. I'm Louis DiBiase. This is Locked On Eagles. The Indianapolis Colts are fresh off of one of their best wins of the season last week after a three-game losing streak resulted in a head coaching change. Are the Colts now for real, or did they just take advantage of a worse team in the Las Vegas Raiders? This is Jake Arthur with the Locked on Colts podcast. The Colts will go from two extremes this week after beating one of the NFL's worst teams last week, and now they face arguably the NFL's best as the Philadelphia Eagles just last week suffered their first loss of the season. The Colts lean on what they historically do best last week, and that's run Jonathan Taylor behind a great offensive line. That's going to be tougher this week as the Eagles line is much better than Vegas's, but their run defense is ranked 20th. Uh, They're a lot better pass rushers than they are run defenders, basically. It'd be wise for the Colts to try and establish Taylor and then allow quarterback Matt Ryan to pick up things over the middle of the field like they did last week. This matchup pits two teams that are quite familiar with one another. Uh, Eagles head coach Nick Sirianni and defensive coordinator Jonathan Gannon both spent three years here in Indy from 2018 to 2020, so it should definitely be a good one to watch. We'll have much more on this matchup this week on Locked On Colts. Check us out every Monday through Friday. It's free and available wherever you listen to your podcasts. We're part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Coming up, Big Blue looks to avoid a trap game against Detroit. This is Locked On Game to Game NFL. Today's edition of Locked On Game to Game is brought to you by LinkedIn Jobs. These days, every new potential hire can feel like a high stakes wager for your small business. You want to be 100% certain that you have access to the best qualified candidates available. That's why you have to check out LinkedIn Jobs. LinkedIn Jobs helps you find the right people for your team faster and for free. Whenever I'm looking for a new job, I always check LinkedIn because I feel like that's a great place for the hiring managers to be able to see all of my qualifications and figure out whether I'm a good fit for that position. So LinkedIn Jobs helps you find the qualified candidates you want to talk to faster. Post your job for free at linkedin.com slash locked on NFL. That's linkedin.com slash locked on NFL to post your job for free. Terms and conditions do apply. Welcome back to Locked On Game to Game NFL. I'm your host, Kainani Stevens. Thank you for making Locked On your first listen every single weekday. The Rams, they're still reeling after their loss last week as they head to New Orleans. Locked On Saints is calling for more Taysom Hill if they want to win it this time against LA. It's time to feed Taysom Hill. I'm Ross Jackson, host of the Locked On Saints podcast. If the New Orleans Saints want to get a win at home against the Los Angeles Rams, give themselves a little bit of life, instill a little bit more confidence in that roster, 
they're going to have to feed Taysom Hill. Listen, the New Orleans Saints have already have already said that Andy Dalton is going to be the starter. Andy Dalton might be the starter, but Taysom Hill needs to be the star. He has to be the feature of this offense on Sunday. You want to stay away from the Los Angeles Rams defensive interior because of Aaron Donald, then that means you're going to have to win around the edge, and nobody does it. Nobody on this New Orleans Saints roster wins the edge like Taysom. So it's time to toot toot and ride the chain train all the way to a hopeful victory for the New Orleans Saints as they look to show a little bit of life here late in the 2022 NFL season. For more on this matchup, the New Orleans Saints, and even already starting to turn the page to the offseason a little bit, make sure you're checking out the Locked On Saints podcast, free and available on all podcast apps and on YouTube as well. Part of Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. The Giants are looking to avoid a textbook trap game as they host the Detroit Lions this week. Locked on Giants goes over how New York can't look ahead on the schedule if they want to avoid an embarrassing loss at home in week 11. The meat of the New York Giants 2022 season is fast approaching. With a string of five games coming up against the NFC East starting on Thanksgiving Day. But before the Giants can sit down to feast, they have to get through the appetizer. And that is a Detroit Lions team that has fought tooth and nail and has won its last two games. Hi, everybody. Patricia Trainer reporting. And if there was ever a trap game on the Giants schedule, this weekend's clash at MetLife Stadium is it. The 7-2 Giants play the Lions at home. And then a mere four days later, they'll be in Arlington, Texas, to face the Dallas Cowboys on Thanksgiving Day. A rematch, if you will, of their Week 3 game that the Giants let slip away in the fourth quarter. But more importantly, that Cowboys game is the start of a five-game streak against NFC East opponents that could influence the final pecking order in the division, as well as have playoff implications. But still, before the Giants can even think about that game or any of their NFC East games that are coming up, they have to deal with the Detroit Lions. This is a team that has been gritty, that has been tough, and has stood up to the challenges of that cl- of the classic backyard brawls. Giants head coach Brian Dable is no doubt aware that this is a potential trap game, and he has no doubt been drilling home the point to his players that they cannot overlook the Lions, that this Lions team is a formidable opponent, and they are an opponent that is very, very dangerous. If the Giant players listen and buy in, the game should be a classic one given the tenor of both the Giants and the Lions coaching staffs. But if the Giants make the mistake of viewing the Lions as a patsy, then it could make for a long afternoon at MetLife Stadium on Sunday. For all things New York Giants, keep it here on the Locked on Giants podcast. The Detroit Lions must win the turnover battle on Sunday if they want to knock off the New York football Giants. I'm Matt Derry, host of the Locked on Lions podcast. Lions have a nice little two-game win streak going. One of the reasons they've knocked off the Packers and Bears in successive weeks is they've taken care of the football, and their opponent hasn't. Green Bay and Aaron Rodgers with the three picks two weeks ago. Justin Fields with a big pick six last week. The Lions want to knock off the juggernaut 7-2 Giants on the road. they got to take care of the football. Never an easy task against Wink Martindale's defense and playing at the Meadowlands. But Detroit's got to win the turnover battle on Sunday. For more on your Detroit Lions and this weekend's big matchup, be sure to check out the Locked On Lions podcast every Monday through Friday, free and available wherever you get your podcasts. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. The Ravens defense is hoping to feast on a familiar foe in Baker Mayfield as he will be starting for Carolina this week. Locked On Ravens has more on that game plan for Baltimore. The Baltimore Ravens must continue their dominance on the ground on both sides of the football in Week 11 against the Carolina Panthers. This is Kevin Ostriker, the host over at Locked on Ravens. Baltimore is currently averaging 5.5 yards per attempt on the ground, good for second in the NFL. And on defense, their run defense has stepped up, only giving up 4.3 yards per attempt. That is good for eighth in the league. So top 10 offensively and top 10 defensively on the ground and going up against Carolina, that is key as they'll have to be able to continue to establish that ground game early and ride it out throughout the entirety of the game with a passing offense, the top minute on offense. And then on defense, you have that elite secondary to pair with that run defense. Baltimore will be facing off against Baker Mayfield. Baker is very familiar with Baltimore going back to his Cleveland days in Baltimore. Obviously very familiar with Baker Mayfield. So if they can force him into a couple turnovers on defense, get the ball back to their offense, 
could be a good win for Baltimore as they try to extend their winning streak to four and improve their record to seven and three. For more on this Ravens team and the Week 11 game against the Panthers, be sure to follow the Locked Ravens podcast and subscribe on YouTube, part of the Locked On Podcast Network. Consistency is going to be key for the Cowboys. After a heartbreaker to a really bad Green Bay team last week, they will try to bounce back against a formidable opponent in the Minnesota Vikings. Locked On Cowboys has the keys to victory for Dallas. If the Dallas Cowboys are going to win this weekend against the Minnesota Vikings, they have got to find some consistency in their game. Hi, I'm Landon McCool with the Locked On Cowboys podcast, and it feels like it's hard to know which Cowboys team you're getting week to week, uh, especially after seeing what they did against the Green Bay Packers last week in Green Bay. The Cowboys just need to find some sort of stability, some sort of consistency. It's been a real up and down se- season. They've had injuries at quarterback position they've had in surprising defensive performances they've had wins where they shouldn't have won the games but now the cowboys are going to be real contenders and beat a team like the minnesota vikings who are a direct playoff competitor they have got to find some consistency on both offense and defense on defense they've got to find a way to slow down the run game a little bit and make sure that they're not giving up the big play on offense, they have got to find a way to generate the big play. The wide receivers need to be more consistent for Dak, and Dak has got to find a way to start these games a little bit quicker. For more on this game and other games, make sure you check out the Locked On Cowboys podcast and check out the other podcasts on the Locked On Podcast Network, your team, every day. That's all for today on Locked On Game to Game NFL. Thank you for making Locked On your first listen every single weekday. Make sure that you subscribe to Locked On NFL and, of course, your team's Locked On podcast on YouTube and wherever else you get your podcasts from. I'm Kenani Stevens. This has been Locked On Game to Game.